It's Puma. You want to play bums and throw lobs all day and you see this lineup. What are you doing? I'm going to drop those boys off. That's what I'm going to do. Yo, what's good? Lock em up nation. Out here with another park gameplay. I'm out here with my man Exo, rebounding guard, and my boy Vapors, a paint beast. Which you guys know I don't like playing a paint beast. Unless it's double, triple, or quadruple rep. Here's that Puma before they took it away from us. You see me going in with the Euro step. Very unnecessary. But even with the paint beast, I'm still getting that layup. I got the lock. The man with 20 defensive badges on ball. And, you know, he got caught on that screen. And he makes a white, you know? I don't like where this is going. With no meter. He should totally make that. He deserved that make. I ain't gonna lie to you. Behind the back, between the double team. That was pretty nice. And, you know, it had him feeling some type of white, so he had to reach on me. Got him with the back door cheese. I'm going back door. And I get the dunk. Should have been in one. His elbow hit the tip of my dreadlocks, man. Rice gum with Toei call in one on that in real life. Now, Axel gets caught on the screen, but he's going to recover. Get a nice little contest for the air ball? What kind of elite three is this? No, in his defense, a lot of you inexperienced players don't know this. A lot of you casuals. But there'll be in-game win. And the win definitely puts his shot, calls the air ball. I throw an alley-oop and Vapors misses the dunk. Someone has a remote control on the sideline, clearly. It's ridiculous. It's obvious what's being done out here. It's on a nightly basis. I hope the world can see now what's really going on out here. Because it's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Yes, man. It's, this is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. No, but in all seriousness, alley-oop dunks and layups, they miss so much. I mean, I get the center was in the vicinity. He might have Hall of Fame Intimidator. But there'll be wide open alley-oop dunks and layups missing. But look at this shot. Heavily contested early, but I'm going to hit EXO for the wide open green. Cashola, baby. But man, what kind of elite three is this? Back to back, terrible shots. He gets him on screen again. Vapors with the hedge, but he disengaged at the wrong time. EXO didn't quite recover from the screen. Therefore, he got the green release. Maybe now he's going to... Oh, did you see how I crossed him now? Behind the back, and I... Could have hit, oh, I do hit Vapors for a lob. For some reason, I thought I was going to take the shot. I don't remember. My fault for that. Yo, there be times where these invisible refs are blind or called nonsense, but you're going to see their vision is on point. Look at the center. Look at his left foot. Look at that left foot. And the refs actually call offensive three-second violation. Get that left foot up out of the paint, big fella. This guy is really pressing. And he's really dodging these screens. I'm going to throw a lob, but I turn it over. It was open. I just threw it too late. The Elite 3 is going to kick out to his 2 guard, who is afraid to shoot. But he's going to get the ball back. He's going to use his screens. His center set's pretty decent screens. And they're going to get the lob. Must be nice to get their lobs completed. Must be nice to have his center not miss alley-oop dunks. But that's going to change right here because Vapors is going to throw it down right in their center's face. Of course, the most contested alley-oop dunk of the game is the one that goes down. If you heard that notification, my fault. He misses a white right here just to serve for earlier. He stops me in my tracks. Vapors gets him into the screen. I'm open for the pull-up, but I miss. That's a free board for Vapors, So If the center switched on to me... I ain't worried because I know Vapors will get the board over to guard every time he makes a late, lightly contested layup. This is a pre-con game. You know what that means. What's going to happen on the next play for the opposing team? A. Vapors gets a snatch block on the center. B. Exo gets brick walled. Vapors steps up and then the center scores as a result. Or C. I am going to get contact dunked on and get put on the floor. Which, I don't know why I would put that in a video. But it's a possibility. A, B, or C. And if you got it right, let me know. And you will win absolutely nothing. You'll just have the bragging rights that you got the question right. Yeah, I'm on. I'll let him score it too. 
What an exciting reaction, I know. Next play. This play is huge. Vapors gives me the ball. I'm doing simple moves. The center I notice is overplaying me, so I throw the lob, and it's complete. We are up two scores. For those that have ever played against decent players, comp players, exo commits to reach and foul, you know being up two scores is huge because you're in the driver's seat. You have the upper hand. They're going to get desperate. They really want threes at this point. That's the only way they're coming back at this point. They would need three straight twos to take the lead, and we know that's not happening. So we got to overplay the three and give that two up. That's okay. They would have to do that two more times without us scoring to get the lead. That's why being up two scores against these players is huge. My baby heard that notification again, but I'm getting that green from half court with the shot meter. Up by six. Now the game is definitely in our hands. This is our game to lose. Vapors is playing his heart out not to give up the three. We are playing up so high. We are not giving up a three. The elite three picked up his dribble. He gets the ball back. Look at how high we're playing. He gets the alley -oop. He said, you know what? If I'm not going to get that three, I'm going to get my rep. And there's nothing wrong with that. If I know I'm going to lose or there's a good chance I'm going to lose, it's happening. I'm going to get my lobs instead of forcing the three. I could have took the three right there. Now, if Vapors would have just went right there, I would have gotten another alley -oop. You saw why I don't like playing at PPs, right? If I had an outside, I would have gotten a layup right there, but the center was sitting pink. I'm wide for the pull-up, but I'm tired, so I'm going to miss. And Vapors gets the worst rebounding animation of all time. 2K, for the love of God, fix the rebounding. Come on, Ronnie. It's all good. We just can't give up any threes. We're going to give up the two. Exo low-key should have gotten a steal. And now this guy has his slashing takeover. And Vapors almost with a turnover. But take a look at the RNG right here. I'm going to lose the ball for absolutely no reason. And this guy has a wide open corner three. But he's going to miss. And Vapors gets the rebound. That's his wide open transition. But he doesn't take it because he thought he was going to jump. I remember that. And you see he commits the reach and foul. I want to win the game right here. But if we got to take a two, it's all right. Vapors using... This guy is dodging all the screens. This is crazy. I'm doing everything I can get him. And I get a little bit of space. He got caught on the screen just for a millisecond. That's all I needed. Now, the moral of the story is... Rep means nothing. Rep means absolutely nothing. Don't be afraid. I'm a superstar one. That guy was in the Elite 3. And as you see, I completely outplayed him. I didn't force shots all game. I took the shots when I got them. I made the right passes pretty much all game. And as a result, we won. Rep means nothing. And it doesn't even come down to who has the most skill most of the time in 2K. Or any game really. It's about who has the most IQ. So I want you to keep that in mind. Do not run from these guys. Because you might just get a big dub, a nice little screenshot, and in my case, a nice YouTube video. You've been caught lacking. You are about to be directed to lock him up J-Man's end screen, in which you must click another video, especially if you enjoyed this video, which was during Puma Mania. And I have a series called How 2K Cost Me Legend, which takes place during the Puma slash Dying Time slash Dunk Fest weekend. The story about how 2K just makes me go so crazy that I actually seek therapy. It's a mixture of 2K gameplay and GTA roleplay. Thousands have watched it and are begging for another season. So if you have not seen it, make sure you watch it. It's going to be Nothing but how 2K cost me legend videos on the end screen. So make sure you click one of them, particularly part one. And if you want to see a trailer, that will be on the end screen too. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.